and Kamene, this is just this point that we talk about relationship. Jamani, I know it. Yourself, you and your fiancé. Yeah. And he's South African fiancé? No, he's not South African. He's a Tanzanian. Tanzanian fiancé. Yes. What happened? Because Babu, Tijana, you've been engaged. And the next th thing to know, na, you guys are broken up. <laughs> what happened, Aki? Um... You know, I think I've. Uh, this is one story I've never told properly, and I've always given generic answers yeah. to it. But I was on Hot 96 um, some time back with Jalano. I was post. I was helping him post while Jeff was away, and I gave the story, and I said um, I haven't particularly been someone who's been lucky with love. Person. And there's nothing wrong with that, but there's no problem with it. Um, I, I honestly can't tell you what happened. Yeah, I don't know because um, I was, we were in a very good place. Mm -hmm. I believe so. Yeah. And actually, I've never told this story. Jesus, we're in a very good place, and 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 I was coming down to Nairobi because we lived in Arusha. I was coming down to Nairobi for to get a French visa, the Schengen, because we are going to watch the French Open. And he had flown down to South Africa for some business, and we were good. That was on a Monday, so I was in Nairobi on Monday, Tuesday, and we were talking, we were very okay. And then Wednesday, you know the way you talk with your husband in the morning, hi babe, how are you, you're good, what, 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 and at the end of the conversation, he just told me, we can't be together anymore. As the leg. <gasps> Hold up. What do you mean? How? Like, I've the end even this story, I've never even Chim doesn't know. Chim is going to slaughter me. But yes. And I was like, I, I don't understand. You know, you go from super perfect to and then it was yeah. And I said, really? And I asked why, what's wrong? You know, whatever it is, we can work through it. And he kept on saying he's like, no, don't worry, when I'll I'll come to Nairobi and we'll we'll talk about it. He never came to Nairobi. And I remember that day I was with the... <laughs> the first person I called was a very good friend of mine. Yeah. DJ Hypnotic. Because Hypnotic was there when I was proposed to. Yeah. That that event, he was there for my proposal. He was actually part of the guys who knew me, who put it together with now my ex. Mm -hmm. And I called him and I said, can you believe he's broken up with me? He was like, ah, now I don't know. You come, let's have a drink, we'll be fine. So, yeah. And afterwards, I remember I called him and I said, Are you sure this is what you want? Because once you close this door, I can guarantee you it will not open again. So I said, Are you sure? Is this your decision? He was like, Yes, I've thought about it and I think that's what's best. I said, No problem. Cheers. And then, then you go through the epiphany of your life. You start thinking, I need to start moving back my things from Tanzania, start settling in Nairobi, what, what and I think it's, 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 it's by God that the day he broke up with me is when I was offered the head of news position at Ebu TV. Just that same, same day, everything fell into place. So it was, it was good. So yeah, that's what happened. Up until now, I don't know, but I told myself I don't need to know. It hasn't stopped me from anything, and above anything else, I think there's a reason God wanted me to be here at this particular time. On the 1st of January this year, my prayer was, Mungu, I feel like I'm really bad to shine with my life right now. Shika, these are the keys to the car. Let's do what you want me to do. Run this show. And then, I found myself in Nairobi, I found myself single, I found myself with that job, and revenge body and fun times and happiness and I got to get back to being Kamene and it was a blessing in disguise.